Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 30, and this is war number 6. We are halfway through the season already. And we're going up against an alliance called Unborn Legends. So let's go ahead and spectate, and we'll see what they have in store for us. So as you can see, my alliance mates have already cleared that middle node. I take path 3 in sections 1 and 2. So I don't have a defender on that first node, and I've got Purgatory on this second node. Let's see, yeah, we got the Armor, Power Focus, Hurt, Locker, Mystic Ward. Uh, so if I'm bringing in Nick Fury, he can take that fight, no problem. Uh, this node here, Mini, Strike Counter Fury, uh, Power Drain, all that good stuff. Um, Nick Fury can also do that fight as well and let's see hmm red goblin huh um i guess nick fury could do that fight as well if i was very careful not to trigger the emp modification uh but he could do that fight if i needed to uh and then we've got uh, guardian here Clairvoyant can handle that. And, ooh, I hate fighting Captain Marvel movie. I really, really do. But uh, Nick Fury can do that fight. Um, Warlock could do that fight. And Claire could do that fight, really. So, uh, anyone that I bring in uh, from my standard team can do that fight. And we've got Mole Man up there. And uh, Warlock, of course. Uh, would be for that fight if I have to take it. Uh, Mini Boss Island. Ooh, we've got Annihilus on that Rage node. Claire can do that. We've got uh, ooh Apocalypse. Uh, Claire and Warlock could do that one. I wouldn't take Nick Fury in. And I will not fight uh, that Mangog. Need somebody who has better power control and... Um, uh, maybe Human Torch uh, for that node. And then we have Void, which I, pardon the pun, uh, I avoid Void because I run Suicides. And we have Terax over here, and we have a uh, Modoc. And we have a Thing Boss. Haven't seen a Thing Boss in a while. Um, could take that with a Nick Fury, although... There are much better options nowadays uh, for him. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Yeah. Because of our time zone differences, a lot of times they're already done. So I have to get as much done uh, as I can tonight. So I'll probably take uh, Purgatory and Professor X. And then I'll have to go to sleep and I'll wake up. And if they want me to take that fight, then they'll just be sitting there waiting and then I'll take the fight. Otherwise, I'll just continue on and, and clear my path and uh, try to take that mole man down if I if I can, uh, if he's still available. All right. Uh, so I'll go in with my standard team of Warlock, Nick Fury and Black Widow Clairvoyant. I did consider Corvus, Professor X, that would be a charge. Guardian, that would be a second charge. Uh, I did think of that, but no, I think I'll stick with my standard team this time. All right, so we'll be back in a moment with the fighting. All right, so we're back. And as you can see, I'm going in with my standard team. No Corvus this time. And I thought I had checked that before but yet it popped up anyway. So I'm not sure what's going on with that pop-up. But anyway, uh, we've got Nick Fury, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. Again, I don't have anyone to fight on that first node, but I've got Purgatory on this uh, next node here. So I'm thinking at this point, all right, Purgatory shouldn't be too difficult to fight. I don't fight her very often, but 
every time I've fought her, she's not been uh, very difficult to fight at all. So I, I put a, a you know a couple of buffs up. Uh, the combat boost regen is just because I have them expiring, and I have a bunch that I haven't even claimed yet. And I went in with Nick Fury just in case some shenanigans happen. I'd have that safety net of the life model decoy. So we're basically just bleeding her down. All right, nothing crazy. Blocked all of that. Doesn't do that much damage. Um, so it wasn't really difficult at all. Here we go, finish it with a special two and she's done. Okay, very, very easy. So now I didn't have anybody on the first node. I fought Purgatory on that next node. So of course I'm gonna take this mini boss here. So Professor X, if you know how to fight him and you manage that um, one little mode of his where uh, you'll get miss all the time, uh, other than that, you, you're doing pretty good. Okay, so I kind of watch out for that. Uh, so in the beginning, he's difficult to parry. So I just block it all and then just wait for him to get done and then go in, putting the bleeds on him. And there we go with the timer there. So the falter is ready now. I take one swipe just to get it uh, to start going on cooldown again. Now we're back in it. And that's really the trick to fighting uh, Professor X, okay? Now, I did this by accident. I thought I was at a special two, but I was just shy of a special two. And of course, he's doing everything he can to get me away from him, but I got him down anyway. So we didn't lose um, any, any real health at that time. Uh, I do run suicide, so we do um, take some damage from that. Now, here's something that has not happened to me before. That was my last fight for this war. I didn't go to section two. So as you can see here, I have no energy. So I cleared my path and the mini, no energy. And so I waited and uh, they weren't active yet at that time. And I went to bed. When I woke up, not that long away. I guess the backup had already come in and cleared everything. So when I went back to look, section two, my path was already cleared. The mini was cleared. They had already cleared off mini boss island and the boss. So I actually had nothing to do. They moved quickly. That's the only time that's happened so far. I'm usually, you know, able to get in uh, section two or something like that. Not that I'm complaining. I When I see that, though, the only thing that I get worried about is being accused of being slow. But we're on different time zones. So they're active the most when I'm asleep. And there's not really anything I can do about that. So as you see here, I'm the first one on that side. Nobody else is over there. But when I come back, everything is already done. Uh, and I wasn't late. I wasn't late getting uh, back in there. So not upset about that. Uh, it is, it, it'll get some, uh, take some getting used to. Uh, you know, in my other alliances, that's not something that usually happens. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, that's our latest war at this point. Uh, so uh, let's take a brief intermission and we'll be back and you guys will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we actually won this war. The reason why I'm saying it like that is because we have lost like the last three or four wars. So this is the first win in a while. We've actually broken our losing streak. Uh, we also had everyone place their defense this time. So we had good uh, diversity and everyone played well. We didn't 
uh, give up too many uh, deaths. So we actually did pretty decent uh, in this war. So very, very happy about that. Uh, I, I was kind of feeling, you know, a little funny about the fact that I only got to fight section one and uh, the backup went in and cleared my path in section two and they were already done by the time I got uh, in there. But it's all good. Uh, we won and we won with a pretty decent uh, amount over them. So not upset about that at all. Uh, let's see if we can keep going. But man, all right, so uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Uh, you might be seeing this the day before or the day of. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, um, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Very short. Didn't have a lot of uh, fighting uh, for me in it, but we got the win. So in the end, it's all good. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.